We are joined by two of the most decorated players now, Dennis Onyango as well as Tompo Kekana. Gents, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on another one. Skipper, let me start with you. How was it? Uh, it was very, I'd say, special. We enjoyed every moment of it, uh, even though it wasn't an, a smooth season for me. But I would say I had fun. I had uh, moments where I could look back and say, yeah, I had fun. What were those moments that were not smooth? Well, it's when we lose our two brothers uh, that hit hard, very hard, because, uh, you know, the way we were, there were moments where we were, uh, I think, emotionally not okay. And I, I believe the team uh, suffered that period at some, at some point, and I believe it was just uh, nice to see the team coming back, you know, bouncing back from that period and uh, still managed to do the business. Uh, it wasn't easy. But like I said, it was just a moment where we really needed to, to mourn as a club. We needed that. But I'm just said we managed to win the, the league, which is something that we should just be proud of it because uh, we did it in a very, very difficult circumstance. Dennis, the 2020-2021 DSTV Premiership Champions, has it sunk in yet? You can never get used to winning. I mean, uh, you can only win as much as you can. For me, it's, uh, it's, 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 it was a great season. Of course, from the personal view and, of course, the team, uh, being the first team to win the DSTV Premiership. And, of course, having a few guys who are new in this space of winning the league, it makes it amazing because we had a lot of new young boys, new youngsters who really worked so hard to, to help us, the old guys, to win our eighth, me and KK. And, uh, of course, we want to extend this lead of, of trophies. We, let's extend it to 10. Can we? I think we can. Uh, we still have the legs. <laughs> we still have Yo, the legs. number eight, how have you guys managed though to, to stay so consistent, you know, the same hunger throughout? I think the team is driven and I think we 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 sharing the same sentiment of trying to make sure that we always want to, uh, you know, put the team where it really believe it belongs and we want to win the trophies and we want to be the team that or the generation that will be remembered you know by, by bringing so many trophies here in Dorofop and uh, up to so far I think the, we've done so well and I believe we can continue to do well while well, we still have an opportunity to, to play for this team. You kept 15 clean sheets in the league, awarded the goalkeeper of the season, congratulations. I know obviously as a goalkeeper you Perfectionist, you obviously wanted more. How was it? 15 is, is yeah, it's quite hasty. It was, for me, it was uh, one of the greatest achievements so far because uh, the most I think I had before was 12 or 11, but uh, stretching it to, to 15 was amazing. But it comes with experience because I was never nervous. I was always focused on one game at a time, trying to uh, beat the record of Monique Joseph. I, I hear he's got 17. He, he has 17. I wanted to get there, but unfortunately, I got injured on the way and uh, I couldn't make it. And uh, Kennedy came through and he made it 18 for the team and Riyad. So for me, it was amazing. I was working with great goalkeepers, a lot of competition from Kennedy, Riyad, uh, Goss, and, and Jody. So they pushed me. They really pushed me to the limit. That's why things became easy for me when I'm playing because I know when I'm outside someone else can do the job so it was a great season for me and it was being inspired by those goalkeepers. Let's talk about that CAF Champions League quarter-final against your former coach, Coach Pizom Simane. <laughs> Very uh, tricky encounter to be honest because as we know um, uh, the North Africans whenever they play in the Mabido uh, Sundowns they always have this element they use against us and they make sure that we we not we don't play our our normal game and i believe tactically on the on the game i believe we were we were upper on the match i believe when we were in, in cairo we've never you know dominated that way but i've always say in the champions league match we don't care how you play you have to make sure that we win matches and they showed with that experience that they have that they don't have to play so well, but they have to win matches and put themselves in a spot where they, they can say they are in the semi-final, as we speak. 
And those are the lessons I think we should take uh, in, in, in coming season, you know, and the new guys which, which, which came into, into play, I think they know that there's so much that we need to, we need to, we need to do in this Champions League. And I believe, uh, you know, footballers, they can always take lessons out of, out of matches.